Shut up and sit down. Hey, you skellywags! Today we've got a guest from a new place. This guy here, Zion Soldier from Mega House. Let's go back to the skelly. So, why don't you tell the audience about yourself, there, soldier? Yes, I am a Zion Soldier of the Gundam universe. A hero in his own right. Well, that's just lovely and lovely to have you on board here. Indeed, I tip man take my hat off to you. I mean, well, maybe not. Oh, uh, yes, I thank thee for the opportunity to express myself in whichever way I like. Well, we've been talking for all this time and I still don't know your name. I mean, you know, how are we supposed to converse and talk about all the important questions of the universe? Like, why is chocolate brown? Hmm, huh. you are correct. I am Gundam, a man. Damn. Huh. I am Mandam. <laughs> Manda, manda, manda. Hey, you scallywags! Today we're looking at him. Yes, GMG01, Zeon Soldier. That's Gundam uh, Military Generation. Zeon Soldier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, let's crack this open. Loads of uh, sellotape. Uh, big, mighty box. Such a small figure. Plastic Glore is the first plastic crack box. Whoa, a load of accessories in this. And then, here, this is some um, paper with how to do this. And the figure with some optional hands and head. Uh, more sellotape. There's just sellotape everywhere. And let's get them open. Alright. So I've been looking forward to this guy. Um, looks like a lot of fun. Put that back there. But it's tiny, really thin. Very light. Look at that. This hat's kind of coming down a bit. Um yeah, first impressions. Feels really light, like not premium at all. Quite loosey goosey. Obviously, we'll play about with him. See how he goes. Let's try and stand him up at first. There you go, fella. Huh. Looks like I'm all alone. <laughs> yes. Time for me to practice and sharpen my vocals. Uh, hmm. <laughs> So here's all of the accessories all laid out. There's quite a bit there. And here's the little fella. Starring question. Zeon Soldier. So. It's got a, I like this face with the mask. Oh, look at that head. Huh. Put that back on. I like this. The other face, uh, which I'll show in a moment, is not as good as this. Quite like this look with the helmet and the glasses, just I don't know, something about it. So it looks quite good. Here's his uh, stuff. Front. That bit is movable. Look at that. So that's probably gonna be good for some posing. Yeah, it does feel quite light. I've said that time and again, but yes. His head can do that. Quite loose. Goes around all the way. Here the arm goes all the way up like that. 
and this one the same. Look at that. Brilliant. But something strange there, like, it's like you can't get it all the way up. I think the way it's molded or kind of works around the arm just kind of doesn't want you to go all the way around. So, yeah. It's a bit weird. I think you can kind of, if you move it in the right way. There is that look like a butterfly kind of thing there. Makes it even more poseable. Such a small guy. And that little twist there. His arms can bend like further back there, but not like as bad as some I've seen. That is amazing. Look at that elbow. Let's try this one. This elbow too. Be the same. But it's not. What is going on? The joint is not wanting to do the same as the other. Why is that? Hmm. To investigate. No, it's not doing it. Ah, look, where it's cut. That is cut more than over here. Don't know if you can see it there. Look, see, not as much on that one. More there, so I can move more. All right, anyway, this wrist can move that way and turn around. Ooh, I think the screw bit is coming off there. Some quality control issues already for a premium figure. Not really good. Alright. Push that in though. Just try and pop it in there. There. Hmm. Probably going to change this hand because I don't know if how long that's going to last. This one seems better. Move it around. I'm not sure about those joints though. It doesn't look like they sort of stay in. Be worried about those in the future. Anyway, he can do that. Doki doki. Giggity. Doki. Move around. Um, bend. Oh, look at that. That's good. And fall back like that. Oh, oops. Yep. Peer right into his uh, innards right there. Not nice at all. And here's Jean Claude. Oh, très bien, mon ami. Looks like Lezion is the best of the Jean Claude. Look at that, the Jean Claude Zion balls. You can go all the way up there and it bends more upwards. It's insane. Very cartoonish. I suppose this uh, character is kind of that way. It seems that way. Ooh, and that as well. Oh, here. I actually had to file this down or like cut it because that was, yeah, it was hindering. Like, um, when you put it up like that, see, like that. So I had to put it, like, put it down, or carve it down so it can do that. Which is very, very strange. Very strange I had that. Again, QC issues. Um, the same was with this one too. Well, not, not the same, but I mean, it's got the same issue, look, you can see. But it's, it's filed down more than the other. The other problem though is down here, look, the bottom bit, it's like, that's gonna like come apart or the screw will come out or something i don't know just a little bit worried just good to note that whilst you're playing about with it because you don't want it to break unintentionally so you can't go back that far that way but forward is amazing but kind of if you put it to the side he can get some really good spits that way see look and this thing just makes it really good but underneath not so nice so you don't really want to break that bit because it will uh, ruin the illusion. So here is his feet. This feels really fragile on this side. It's quite loose. You can pivot and turn that. It goes all the way around for no good reason. It goes up and down. Toe as well. Here, toe. There we go. Tippy toes. Hee <laughs> hee. That too, with the toe and up and down, but this is a bit strange because that is very loose. Look how far down it can go down, Moon Walker style. But yeah, this one here is a lot, um, 
it's a lot more uh, stuck, stickier. Brain fart. Yeah, it's, I mean, this one's a lot more looser than the other one. So, uh, mm, I don't know, maybe it's something about, I've got to change it or, or wear it in or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, first impressions, it moves around a lot. You know, a little bit disappointed with his QC issues, but I'll play about, see how he goes. Right. Uh, this head, I will not be using this head. Look at it. It's terrible. Um, maybe I'll use it for something, I'm not sure, but nah. Nah, nah, nah. It's just too, too cartoony. Blank, crappy expression. Well, let's see how it goes on. Let's take this head off. Ooh. Oh. That's a bit thin, isn't it? And it's a bit bent. Look at it. It's supposed to be like that? Uh, I don't know about that. Anyway, we'll try and get this head on without breaking it. Come on. And you go. Come on. Just a little bit more. Eh. Yep, as expected. Doesn't look great. I'll prefer this head. Well, let's try this uh, helmet on him first. No, of course it doesn't fit. This looks silly. <laughs> right. And let's just remove this one again. Uh, and this head. I prefer this head, even with without the hat. But I'm going to put the hat on anyway, the helmet. Right, so accessories. Two hands open, like that. See them? Look. And they go down and up and down. These two trigger hands, they go um, up and down too, kind of like that way, kind of way. See, both sides. The other trigger hands do the other way. Lefty and righty, but this doesn't move. It's stuck. So definitely won't be using that. Um, I don't even want to try and you know fix it. This one does it though, that's fine. And this, like an ammo box, nicely detailed. Look at that. The inside, engraving in there and that. You open it up. Bullets! Little bullets. And these bullets that kind of go with it. If you get the other two, um, yeah, some sort of minigun put together. Here's a belty thing which it doesn't say what to do with it, so I'm assuming it's kind of over the shoulder here. Looks about right. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. I think that's right. Mm. I won't use it, I think. Remove that. This looks quite good, but it's got a sleeping bag. Try and put it on there. So it's not really something I would use, but the other two have got like a rocket pack or something and then a walkie talkie kind of. There, uh, gun. Uh, pouches, grenade. Alright, let's try and put some of these on. That goes on okay. What is that? Back there's alright. Grenade doesn't seem to want to go on. I am busted. Something fell off as well. So that's why, because it's literally just that. Plug it in is literally. Ugh, I'm just gonna leave that anyway. Okay, let's try his hand. Move that. Change it to a trigger hand. Does feel quite fragile, but just gotta be careful. And there. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Let's change this one. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this again. Ever. Ever, ever. And then this hand... Should just go in. This pistol... Old school pistol. Old is that nice? 
any, uh, I would use this. Go on. Looks good. Where you hold it. It's tiny. Alright, let's try this weird sniper thing, which I would never use, I don't think. It just looks flat. The colour is just grey. Come out of the thing. It's just grey. I suppose you can customise. Add a bit more, uh, more to it. And this... Yeah. Machine gun thing? It's a gun. At the very least. Let's see if he can hold it oh, with this open hand thing. Um. Here is instructions how to put that on. And that thing again. I don't know why. So I'll remove these and the head. Put this on. Why is that so hard? Okay, so uh, I'd find out that I took off the wrong bit. I'm supposed to take it off uh, the shoulder there. But it's quite difficult to do. I've literally just taken that bit off now. So I'm not too confident in taking this one off. So in fact, I'm just going to leave it on. Just try and slide this on the top over this fragile little neck piece and then over this fragile um, arm bit. Don't even know if it'll be worth it in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Looks nice. Put sleeping bag on. Head. And that's what it'll look like. The arm just standing beside it. I'm not going to push it in because. I know it's going to be difficult, and it'll be difficult to take off again, so, no. Right, so I did all of that behind the scenes, put it back together, and, yeah, it was a bit difficult, but I've been playing about with him now. Was admittedly a bit disappointed at first, but knowing all the QC issues and having resolved them myself, so I'm not out of the box, making sure everything is kind of in place and knowing how to play with him, He's actually pretty cool. You can do quite a lot with him. The poses, there's just so many different poses you can do. Ones that like other figures wouldn't have a chance in hell doing. Um, but he performs them and pulls them off really, really, really well. The only thing is, is that he's not that sturdy. It's very light is another thing. So when you're messing about with him, or when you know how to, like you feel it, it's just re it feels really, really good. Just doing all these different poses. Um, sometimes it can be a pain uh, trying to uh, get him to balance. But it's not too bad because he is a very light figure. So you, you can get him to do it. You just have to find the right balance of how you're um, pushing him in there. Look, I've got to do the waist. It does have waist there as well. Look at that. But yeah, um, I paid about £36 for him. Um, when he comes over to the UK in, in March, I think he's going to be a lot more, like double or more the price. I wouldn't pay that much. Um, I think £36 is, is a bit much, and I had shipping involved with that too. So get it where you can from uh, Hobby Link Japan and not over here.
Bumblebee, Bumblebee, Bumblebee. Uh, Bumblebee, 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 yeah. Bumblebee. Hey, y'all. Yeah. Skellywag. Oh, oh, Bumblebee. Eh? Well, what is it? Fine, Skelly. I couldn't help but notice your fine vocalistics, your range. Oh, delightful. Oh, hi. Yes. Fine. Thank you. Yes. That's what I do. What I do just every morning to start the days. Just, uh, gotta operate those lungs. Like that of a performer, no less. Or someone who could host, maybe, even. Yes. Well, it's the performance of a lifetime. As in, my life. It is my life, and in my life, I must live the way I want to live, and be who I want to be, oh, mm. and that means being me, me to the end, and end, and end, and no compromises with who I am. Because to not be truthful to oneself is a crime to humanity. Very well said. I think I have a job for you.